Hello guys, welcome to the uh, 13th session of the Entity Framework Core 2.0 tutorials. In this session, we will learn about the uh, entity state and the uh, attach entity to the uh, database. Object context internally track all of the entity which was either loaded by the uh, context, added or attached by the uh, That's why when we are retrieving the uh, data for only display purpose, we are used the uh, as no tracking. Those all entity will be modified into the uh, database when we will call the uh, save changes method. Those all entities will be uh, modified into the uh, database when we will call the uh, save changes method of the uh, context. Each entity has the uh, object state entity in the object state manager. Object state entity specify the uh, state of the entity. Entity state has the uh, following values detach, delete, modify and unchange. When the entity is loaded from the database, it is in the unchanged state. And when we are retrieving the entity by using the as node tracking, it will create a copy of the entity and change its state to the detach. To enable the tracking for that entity, we need to change its state to the attach. Let's switch to the Visual Studio and create a new action name entity state in which we will create an instance of the book model where book equal to new book which id will be 11 title equal to new added book description equal to long description about new book price equal to 320 and author id equal to 1 and now add this entity into the our context so write the context dot book dot add and pass the uh, our book and return the uh, context dot entry which take the uh, our book instance that is entity and obtain the uh, state from that uh, written as a string here we are created the uh, new instance of the uh, book edit add this book into the uh, database by using the uh, entry function we will retrieve the entity entry we need to pass the entity in the uh, parameter by using the state property, we will retrieve the entity state. Let's run it and open the uh, our action that is uh, entity state. You can see that it returned the uh, added, means that the our entity is now in the uh, added state. Let's stop it and comment this line and write the uh, context dot entry of the uh, book dot state equal to entity state dot added and call the uh, context dot save changes and return book added Let's switch to the uh, SQL Server and fire the our uh, select query. You can see that it contains the uh, eight books. And now I'm going to run that solution and open the uh, home slash entity state action. You can see that it's written the uh, book added message. And let's retrieve. Here is the uh, book that we are added now. We are not called the add function here. We are just change the uh, state of the entity to the uh, added. Now we will create a new action for attaching a new and existing entity in the entity framework. For that create a new public string attach entity. In this method we will receive an instance of the book as a parameter so write the book book 
if the book id is present within that instance we will perform the update operation otherwise we will perform the insert operation so we need to write here if book dot id greater than zero then we need to use the context dot book dot attach method and pass the entity that we are going to attach it will be a book and change the uh, and change the uh, state by using the uh, entry for this book to the uh, modified msg equal to string dot empty for now and if book id exists then we change msg to updated else context dot book dot add book and msg equal to add it at the end we are going to return msg book details message that can be uh, updated or added successfully we also need to call the uh, save changes method to reflect the uh, changes save the uh, changes file I'll run the uh, project slash home slash create i am using use the uh, parameter from the uh, create book and just change the uh, name to the uh, attach entity and hit the enter button you can see that it written the book details added successfully let's switch to management studio and execute the select query here is the popular book by the popular author that we are now added let add the id equal to let's see the id of the popular book that is a 13 so let id of 13 title equal to so write the add the id equal to 13 and person and enter here you can see that book details was updated successfully let file the uh, select query you can see that here we got the uh, very popular book we use the uh, same method for the add and update the difference is that if we want to add the uh, book detail then we does not need to pass the id in the case of uh, update we need to pass the id as previously said all the changes will be stored in the database after calling the save changes method till that time entity is old data and the new data are stored within that entity let's understood it by the example for that i am going to create a new action public string entity state in which i am retrieving the book from the database where book equal to context dot book dot find and pass the uh, numeric value one change the uh, any property of that entity i'm going to change the uh, book title to the uh, first book To retrieve the object state entry, we need to use the entry method of the context and pass the entity. Write the where entry equal to context dot entry and pass the our entity that is a book. Now I am creating the string builder. data equal to new string builder and append
entity state write the entry dot state copy and paste entity name for that write the uh, entry dot entity dot get type dot full name and now I'm going to print the original value of the uh, title for that write the uh, original title entity dot original values and within that pass the uh, name of the uh, property that is a uh, title same for the uh, current value pass the uh, title and change the label to the uh, current value and uh, return it as a string We already have a method name uh, entity state, so I am going to change to the uh, entry state. Save it and run. Open the uh, home slash entry state action. You can see that the uh, entry state is the uh, modified. In space for the uh, entity is the uh, code first dot models dot book original value for that entry title is the uh, head first and the current value is the uh, first book let's see what we are learning this session here is a demo of the uh, entity state to retrieve the uh, entity state we need to use the uh, entry method we need to use the entry method and pass the entity. Entity state can be added, attach, detach, modify, and the unmodify. When we are retrieve the entity as no tracking, it was in the detach state. To attach that entity with the database, we need to use the attach method. In this session, we follow the uh, insert update pattern in which we are use the same method for insert and the update the entity. Entry framework handle the all the details into the object state entry. We can retrieve its state, current value, and the original value. The original value are stored in the form of the uh, property value. However, we can retrieve it by using the uh, array like syntax. Here are the URL to the uh, word accent that we are created in that session. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.